Hello mga ka-coach mom A. Um welcome to our week 3 lessons for mathematics 4. Um actually we are uh, um two weeks delayed for this lesson, but we would like to complete the uh, the set of lessons so we'll have a backtrack of it so we're going to discuss week three and uh in the next video we'll go we're going to discuss week four and then we're back on track for week five for next week okay hi alex good morning Hello. so we're going to record our uh to, to to have our viewers see our week three discussion uh we apologize for the delay because alex got sick uh two weeks ago and uh, she had already recovered so we're we're making it up for week three okay happy learning guys so let's start all right now our week three topic is products of three digit numbers by two digit as discussed before as a review for our mathematics uh, for, uh, pre for previous years when we say product what is the uh, uh, fundamental operations involved multiplication. multiplication and we use the multiplication symbol or the times okay so the the answer in multiplication is what we call what we call Product. products and the numbers that we multiply are called factors, factors. okay so um for our first learning task so we are so we have after going through this lesson you are expected to multiply numbers up to three digits and by numbers up to two digits so Mamaya, magpa-progress yan. Okay? Um, or without various... With or without in various forms and contexts. Okay, so let's now first um, uh, take learning task 2. Le learning task 1, sorry. Find the product mentally. Write the answer in your notebook. Wow! Mentally, pale, you wouldn't need to write it down. So, can you now multiply 12 times 5 mentally? Mentally. Yeah. 5 times 2 equals 10. Mm. 5 times 1 is 5. So? Plus 1 is 5. Uh, plus 1 is 6. Mm -hmm. So, 12 times 5 is? 60 very good okay i will allow you to um uh solve it on your paper because i'm not um expecting that much at this early stage okay so i want you to teach or to to show our viewers how we would solve that not mentally but um uh, in a written form so can you please do that alex okay 12 times 5, how would you solve that? Mm -hmm. so, 5 times 2 equals 10. So, mm -hmm. 5 times 2 equals 10. Very good. Okay, very good. So, I think you could uh, do well with the rest. So, let's proceed with number 6. Can you can you put number 6 here? Oh, dito na lang, dito na lang. Sorry. Number 6. 233 times 3. 233. 3 times 3 is 9. Mm-hmm. 9. Another 9. Mm-hmm. And 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, so the answer is? 690. Okay, very good. I think you're you're doing well. You could do well with um, two digits times one digit and three digits times one digit. It's easy, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Later. Okay, later. Now, 
I don't know why we have another learning task one here. Maybe it's learning task two. Okay, let's try to deepen your understanding with this lesson by reading and analyzing the problem carefully. Answer the given questions in your notebook. Okay, um, problem solving ulit tayo. So, um, do you remember our makeup class? Actually, guys, we did not. I, I've seen that Alex had been having problem or difficulty in um, solving worded problems. So, we had um, offline. Mommy, uh, this is easier. Okay. We have an offline um, makeup class in understanding worded problems. So, uh, that's what I'm asking Alex. Uh, if she could remember how she would understand the uh, word problems. Okay. So, first... Mr. COVID and his co-workers can deliver 231 coconuts in a day. How many coconuts can he deliver in 23 days? So, it's just that you put, ano yung given? 231 coconuts and 23 days. Okay. So, uh, ilan ang, ano yung, ano yung hinahanap? Ano yung tinatanong sa atin? So, anong gagawin mo dyan? Mr. Covid and his co-workers co so, deliver in a day. In, in day, that's a given in a day. So, ang, ang, ang ask is how many coconuts can he deliver in 23 days given that he can deliver 231 coconuts in one day. So, what is the, how would you solve the problem? So, you write down, ano muna? Is, that was the given? The given is 200. 231 coconuts. Okay, you're right. 231 coconuts. 231. Bakit 7? It's yung 1 mo mukhang 7. Okay, coconuts. And then, how many days daw? 23. Okay. 23. Oh, sige. So, what are you going to do with that? Add, subtract, multiply, divide times multiply yeah. oh, sige you do that you put the multiplication sign and then you solve the problem okay so first you answer the first question pala how many coconuts can Mr. COVID and his co-workers deliver in a day? 231. Coconuts. What is ask in the problem? Ano raw ang ask? Ano raw ang tinatanong? How many coconuts can they deliver in 23 days? Okay, now solve the problem. Now, 3 times 1 is 3. So, 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 times 2 equals 6. Mm -hmm. Now, 2. 2. 2 times 3. Yeah. It's 6 again. 6 and so. And 2 times 2. Is 4. 4. And then what are you going to do with the two numbers there? You add. Okay, you do that. Medyo naka-indent yung second, ano ha? Second set 3. What's that? 9 plus 2. 9. 9 plus plus ha hindi times it's um it's 11 11 okay One, so, up up up. 13 6 times 2 is 13 or 6 plus 6 equals 8 oh, 12 mm. 13 so, up 1 Dito, one. Oh, sige. Now it's five. Five thousand three hundred. Answer is five thousand three hundred thirteen. What? Coconuts. Coconuts. Sige, you label it with coconuts. Okay. So basic lang to guys. Okay. So now, uh, there, there's just a discussion here. How, how, um. The answer was taken. Okay? So, gawin natin dito. Mr. Ben solved 43 boxes of buttons. 
if each box contains 150 buttons, how many buttons did he sell? So, I don't know kung, kung mash yung buttons to. Basta button, buttones, whatever. Sige, you write here. Uh, sabi dito, inuna niya kasi yung 153 kasi mas malaki, right? So, what is what are given? First, 43 boxes. 43 boxes. So, yun yung maging multiplier. Uh, and each box contains 153 buttons. So, first, first step is, to, first step is, uh, you write down muna kung ano yung given. Okay? So, you write 153 buttons. Teka, urong natin dito para nakikita tayo. Okay? 153 buttons. Okay? And then, 43 boxes. Okay. And you write the multiplication sign. Okay. O, dahan-dahan tayo. Susundan natin yung step. I know you know how to do it, but we have to follow the step. First thing is to do is multiply by 3. So, ito yon. 3 times 3. 9. Okay. 3 times 5. It's 3 times 5. 15. So, what you will you do? 5. Carry up 1. Okay, 3 times 1. It's 3. Plus 1. 4. Okay, so that's the first level. Okay, ito na yun, di ba? Now, the second step is to multiply yung, yung digit in the tens place. Ito, yung 4. Tapos, i-indent mo siya uh, one place to the left. Okay, so 4 times 3. 12. You put under 5. Okay, carry up. One. Four times five. Four times five is twenty. Twenty plus one. Twenty one. Twenty one. One carry up. One, yeah, carry up two. Carry up two. Okay, four times one. Four. Plus two. Is six. Six. Bakit six? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's four. Wait lang, wait lang. Bakit ganon? Wait lang ah. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry up 1. 4 times 5, 20. Plus 1. 21. 21. 21. Carry up 2. ba? Yeah. Bakit 412 lang tong sagot niya dito? Uh, mali po ata. <laughs> Ako, mali na naman po ang ating module. Sorry po ha. <laughs> okay, so 4 times 1 equals 4 plus 2, 6. And then you add, bring down 9. First muna, bring down 9. 5 plus 2, 7. 4 plus 1, 5. And then bring down 6. Um... Sorry guys, but um, we will not follow the values given in the module because medyo may counting error. And I just want to make sure that I'm uh, teaching the right this is six. answer. So the answer six. is 600. Guys, I, I use the calculator ha para hindi po natin pagtatalunan. So, 153 times 43 is 6,579 and not 4,579. There should be a correction in the module. Okay? Okay. So, thank you. Uh, let's now proceed to the next topic. Learning task 4. Uh, find the product, write the answer, your answer on your notebook. So, I suggest you write down, so, two digits na tayo, nagto two digits na pala tayo, ha? Okay, so, okay, come here, dito pa kaya, alam, nahirap ang kaso niya. Okay. Ayan. So, write down 315 times 24. Guys, you uh, uh, you would notice, hindi natin dinidiscuss lahat ng numbers. It's for you to try out on your own, Okay. We're not spoon feeding here. We'll just um, uh, try to show you how to get that, and also to identify if the answer in the module is correct or not. Then we will proceed with the correct one. Okay. 
So, 314 ta 315 times 24. So, Alex? 4 times 5 is 20. So, you put here. Bring up 2. 4 times 1 equals 4. And it's 6. Okay, no more. No carry up, ha? 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12. You write 12. And then, okay, 2 times 5. 2 times 5 equals 10. 10. 20. So, 0. Yeah, you have 1. 2, sa ibabaw ng 2. Okay. 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1. Is 3. 3 here. Okay. 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6. Okay. You add. You add. So, may 0 ka ng ibababa. Walang katapat yung 0. 6 plus 0. 6. 2 plus 3. Is. Ouch. It's 5. 5. 1 plus 6. Okay, so the answer is 7,560. So, guys, I hope you would also try the other numbers by yourself, okay? Now, let's proceed to learning task 5. Learning task, learning task, four task and 4. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Ay, iba pa pala to. Learning task 3 and 4. Ah, okay, so this is another... Uh, sige, let's, let's, ano, uh, let's, uh, find the product for this one. Here, here. Number one again. 314 times 23. 314 times? 23. 22 times? Okay. You, can you do it on your own? Yeah. Okay, go. 3 times 4 equals 12. Twelve, wait, ah, uh, three, four, okay. Three times three equals nine. Okay. Okay, two times four is eight. And two times one is two. Two. Two times two. Two times three equals is six. Six. And then you add. Okay. Okay. Two. Four plus eight. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. It's two. Carry up one. Mhm. Mag nakakalito kaya? Li mo lang yung carry up mo. Magiging ano yun eh. Nakakalito. Liitan mo lang kasi magmumukha siyang 123. O, oh, sige. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 plus 9 equals 11. Plus 1 is 12. So, 2 carry up 1 again. Mm. 6 plus 1 Seven. equals 10. Okay. Very good. Are we okay? Are we good? Are you sure with your answer? Okay. Something, sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes 314 times 7222. Very good. Walang tiwala, no? Nag-check pa sa calculator. Hindi mo minsan mali kasi ito ako. It's good. Yeah, very good. So, let's now proceed with learning task 5. It's another word problem. So, word problem. Okay. Sige. Let's see. Okay. Ayusin natin. Okay. Nalipad kasi. Let's see. Yeah. Let's check this one. Uh, Mr. Remulia has coconut plantation. Okay. There, there are 353 coconut trees in a row. There are 33 rows. How many coconut trees there in all? You write down the given. There are 353 coconut trees. 353 coconut trees in one row. 
Coconut trees na lang. Tapos 33 rows. Now, you count all the coconuts. Now, you know how to do it, ha? Kasi nung una, hilong-hilo ka, hindi mo alam pa paano mong gagawin mo, eh. Okay, 3 times 3 calls 9. 3 times 5. Okay, yan po. 3 times 3 calls 9. Plus 1. 10. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I forget the kitty up. Okay. Okay. Okay, gang. Ah, what did I tell you regarding the same number? You will copy, di ba? Just indent, di ba? You don't need to do that, that, that again. Okay, sige, you do it. Nine. Five. Inulit mo pa? Ito na nga, di ba? Pares 33. You just copy this and indent, di ba? Oh, zero. Oh, one. Oh, then add. Ang laki ng coma. Parang 1. Okay, 9. 9 ba yan? O, oh, sige, 9. 5 plus 9? Oh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This 4? Hmm. Carry up 1. 6. Okay. 2 is 1. Hmm. And then... So, the answer is 11,649 coconut trees in, a, in 33 rows. Okay? Coconut trees. Okay. So, let's proceed to... Uh, what's this? Ay, iba na ba to? Week 4 na ba to? Ay, hindi pa. Ito pa ang week 4. Nagulat kasi ako, iba na naman. Anyways, okay. Sige, sige. This is still under week 3. Estimation of products for 3 to 4 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers. So, marami namin na to. 2, 2 to 4 digits multiplied by 2 to 3 digits. Carry na yan, ha? Okay, learning task 1. Round off muna. Nalala mo yung pag-round off? Yep. Okay. Magpipit tayo sa papel, ha? You, book, you, you, lose, you use the back portion of the paper. Okay. After going through the lesson, after going through this lesson, you are expected to estimate the products of two to, to 3 to 4 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers with reasonable results. Round off the following to the nearest underlined digit. Nalala mo? And then, naalam ko na po agad yung sagot. Tinignan ko lang. Uh, anyways, round off muna. Round off, ha? Sige, sulat mo dyan. Number 1. 346. Round off to the nearest hundreds. It's 300. 300. Sige, equals mo. Equals. In, hindi, dito. Equals ganun. Hindi ka naman mag a eh. 300. Okay. Number 2. Round of 28 to the nearest tens. It's 30. Okay. Very good. I want you to write it kasi it's your reference for the following, the next steps. Number 3. 454 round of to the nearest hundreds. Huh? It's five. Ah, okay, okay. It's more than 50, you know. Okay. 500 na. Okay. Number four. 892. Round up to the nearest hundreds. Well, it's going to be 800. Ilan? 800. To the nearest hundreds? Yeah, because it's... Oh, I forgot. I thought it said that. Eto, to. It's going to be 900. 900. Ay, hindi na nila kita yung sinusulat mo. Okay, next. 683 to the nearest tens. 683. It's gonna be 600 or 80. Hmm. Tens. Nearest tens. 80. Anong 80? 80. 80 lang. 80 lang. 800. 
Sulat mo nga muna tong 683 para hindi ka nalilito. 683. O oh, sige, ano sagot? Ni resistance. 80 lang, hindi 680, 80 lang. Oh, 680. Okay. Kala ko mm, next. Number 6. Be careful. Okay? 743 to the nearest tens. It's 740. Okay. Okay, next. Learning task 2. Estimate the following products by rounding the factors to its highest place value before multiplying. Write your answer in your notebook. The first one's done for you. The first one, 63, ito to, 63 times 45. Equal 60 po yan. Mali po siya. Bakit ganito? Bakit 6? Mali po yan. May correction po yung si group chat. Okay. 60 po. O sige, sige. Sulat mo, ilagay mo yung tama dito. 63, <laughs> halo, hay nako. 63 times 45. Uh, round off mo muna. Ito, 60 to, di ba? 60 times 50. Equals? Sure ka 50 to? Hmm? Four, five yun eh, tapos even number tong 4. Should be 40 lang eh. Ano sagot sa inyo? Asan yung ano sa group chat niya? Doon po ata na charge po yung iPhone eh. Okay. So, let's use 50 for 45. So, this is 0 times 0 equals 0, di ba? Okay. Usually kasi pag may 0, um, di ba idadagdag mo na lang yung 0, di ba? So, lagay mo na lang yung 0 doon. Add na lang natin. Ilan yung zero? Dalawa. Dalawa. You add the two zeros. Yun yun, bibilangin mo na lang sila. Tapos, six times five. Six times five is thirty. Thirty. You write thirty. Slow Hindi. Dito na. Isang line na. Yun yung shortcut eh. Okay. Pag hindi mo siya shortcut, ganito. Sige, sulat mo dito yung sixty times fifty. Pag ganyan, sixty times fifty. Oh, sige, pag di mo siya sinort ka, 0 times 0, 0 times 6, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 6, 30, 30. Oh, sige, i-add mo, si bring down 0, 0, 0, 3, parehas, yes, Bibilangin mo lang yung technique dyan. Pag may zeros, bilangin mo lang yung zero, add mo. Tapos saka mo add yung number na hindi zero. Eh, multiply you add yung numbers na hindi zero. Okay? Sige, let's proceed. So, ito yung example. Guys, ito yung example. Ito yung tamang sagot, ha? Okay, next. Um, number one. Number one. 63 times 18. 63 times 18 oh, round off mo muna 63 round off to the nearest 60 18 20 20 ok add mo sila oh, bilangin mo 0 0 0 2 hmm, dalawang 0 6 times 2 6 times 2 is 12 ilan? 12 12 oh, you write down 12 so the answer is 1,200. Ganun lang. Okay. Let's proceed with a worded problem. Okay. I am, it's just an explanation. So, a bakery sells 349 pieces pande coco a day. How about, huh? About how many pande coco bread can the bakery shop sell in 25 days? Sige. Uh, estimation ulit. Alex, what's what are given? 349. Dito, dito na lang, dito na lang, next page ka na. 349. 
Uy, 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 yun. 349 times 25. Estimate natin. 349 magiging Bakit? Dahil hindi siya 5, right? Kaya drop. Eto naging 30. 25. Okay, sige. Bilangin mo ilang 0. 3. 1, 2, 3. Then 3 times 3? Yes, 9. So, ang sagot, 9,000 around. So, about. About 9,000 pande koko in 25 days. Okay? About lang yon ha? Round off yon Sige, you, 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 you do learning task 4. 346, dito na lang. 346 times 45. Times. Okay, round off. 346, round off. 345, 50. Call it. 0, 0, 0. 3 is 50. Very good. And let's proceed to learning task 4 na naman. Ang guguluhan na ako sa numbering nito. Anyway, ayaw mo na nga. <laughs> Look at the table below. Write the estimated amount, amount, presyo, ha? Of each fruit and answer the questions below on your notebook. Naku, kailangan siyang sagutin lahat. Next, sige. Pineapple, 165. 117 per piece. So, sasagutan mo nga yung estimated product. Uh, dito ka. Hindi ka naman pwede magsulat dyan. <laughs> okay. So, ito na lang naman. 165, 100, time, 165 times 117. Dito na, pagsulat mo dito, naka-round off na ha. 165, anong estimated value nun? 200. 117, 100. Oh, multiply mo na. Ilang zero? Okay. 2 times 1. Okay. 20,000. Tandaan mo yan na. O, oh, dito next. Avocado. Lagay mo kaya dito, pineapple. Yan na lang. Kahit yun na lang Pina first. O, oh, tama na yan. Tama na yan. Tama. O, oh, hindi ma... Pineapple. Pineapple. O, oh, avocado. 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 781 magiging? 781 is 800. 800. 37 pesos. 37 is 40. 40. Sige, ilang zero? 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Galing, no? Sa ulado, no? Next, papaya. Papaya. Ay, hindi ka nakita pala sa camera. Move tayo dito. Mommy, si Siri ko hindi alam yung papaya. Tinatanong ko po ako. Si Siri? Kaya mo siya. Hindi siya. <laughs> hindi siya marunong. Anyway, sige. Papaya. Papaya. 89 pesos. Papaya. Round off. Estimate. 89. 89. is 90. 90. Wait po. Ito po. Ito muna. Hindi na. 89. Times 73. Ano yung 73? Round off. 70. Oh, ilang zero? 7 times 9. Alam mo yan. 63. 63. Okay. Diyan tayo nagtatagal eh. <laughs> Pag di mo alam, diyan tayo nagtatagal. Oh, next, jackfruit. Tusok, tusok. Paborito ko yan, ha? Langka. Hindi ko po alam. Anti-cancer yan. Maganda yan. Hindi po. Ako nakainitin si Masarap yan. Masarap yan sa ano, halo-halo. Anyway, 390. Ano ba yung topic natin, Matt? 390. Anong round off niyan? Anong nearest, highest? Uh, 400. 275? 300. O, sige. Ilan zero? Oh, 4 times 3. May natutunan ka sa akin, ha? Shortcut, ha? 
Oh, sige, 4 times 3. 12. Oh, ilan niya? Magkano yan? Ang mahal naman yung jackfruit na yan. 120,000. Shoot talaga, ha? 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 2, no? Okay. Dragon fruit. Dragon. Dragon fruit. Dragon. Dra ah, sige. 639. Nainip, eh, no? 639. Is 600. 600. 175. Okay. Ilan zero. Oh, 6 times 2. 6 times 3 is 12 again. 12. Press ng presyo, no? <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, sasagutan ba natin to? Sige. How much does 565 pineapples cost? Di, ito yung 565. Round off mo. Alam yung 565. 565. Is 600. Sulat na dito. 600. Magkano isa? 117. 100. 117. <laughs> o, bilangin lang zero. Oh, 6 times 1. Oh, 60,000. Hmm. Alam mo na. Alam mo na gagawin. Oh, sige, ito sa papaya. Pineapple. Papaya. Oh, papaya. Dito tayo. Papaya daw. Dito. Papaya. 90. 90. Sige, sulat mo. 90. Dito. Dito sa ilalim. Dito yung papaya. Abokado yan yan. Abokada. Abokada. Abokado. Sige, 90. Ang taas. Hindi pantay. Duling. Anyway, sige na. Sorry, sorry. 90. Oh, magkano raw papaya? Round off, 70. Oh, dali. 90 times 70. Mm, ilang zero. Dalawa. 9 times 7. Hindi mo alam? 63. 6,300. Ayusin mo yung sulat mo, ha? Hindi maintindihan. Kaya nga ayusin mo. Mag-practice ka magsulat ng maayos. Okay. Next. 639 dragon fruit. Saan yung dragon fruit? Dito, dito. 639. 600. Magkano? 175, 200. Hmm. Kano? 4 na 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 times 2. Okay. Next. 789 avocado. 789. Dami-dami naman yan. Binilang pa nila isa-isa yan. Okay. Magkano? Oh. Ilang zero? 8 times 4. Okay. Last. 390 jackfruits. Oh, magkano isa? Jackfruit. 300. Okay. Apat na. Ba talaga ano? Sinort cut na ano? Okay. Very good. There you go. Mga ka-coach ma'am. Tapos natin pahirapan ng konti si Alex. Kayang-kaya daw niya. Ang multiplying um, 3 digits by 2 digit number and estimation of products for 2 to 3 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers. So, hopefully, you've learned some uh, tips and shortcuts from us. And guys, mga, mga bata, it's very important that you memorize the multiplication table. Kasi kung hindi nyo alam yung multi, hindi nyo kabisado ang multiplication table, talagang doon kayo magtatagal, doon din kayo magkakamali. So, in mathematics, it's important that you um have the accuracy in answering so most the two two most important factors is um also especially yung alam niyo yung sagot so um accuracy and speed are very important in mathematics so hopefully you've learned lalo na dito sa mga mga multiplication ng mga numbers na with zeros so you just count the zeros and then the multiply the the non-zero number. So, hopefully, nakatulong kami. And, uh, see you again next week for, 
actually the makeup class for uh, week 4 of Mathematics 4. So, see ya. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Coach Mom A. And uh, happy learning. God bless you all.